Hey everyone, this is Victor with Excited Atom Design. Uh, today I'm going to go over how to string the woven boat bowl. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the boat itself. So when you're putting this together, uh, depending on the material size that you chose, it should fit together pretty tightly. If it doesn't, you can go ahead and add glue to the pieces underneath on the floating clips and then on the verticals. Uh, a little piece of glue there would help as well. Uh, if it does fit tightly and you can just put it together without glue, I do recommend gluing on this top ring and make sure when you glue it on that um, there are notches scored in this. Make sure they are facing up. Okay. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to need uh, 14 yards of cord. I just used um, three millimeter and this is just the natural color. Last thing, go ahead and cut out a piece of cardboard that's about eight inches long by about one inches wide. And then we're just gonna cut slits into either end. All right. First thing is we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my cord around this cardboard piece. So I'm gonna take one end and I'm going to slide it into the slot. Okay, that locks it in place. And now I'm just going to wrap it around the cord. All right, just keep going around. You're going to wrap around that cord in the back to hold it in place. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this so that it's pretty t close together. Uh, you don't want any gaps. What we're trying to do is we're just trying to get a lot of the cord on here, but we're also trying to keep it flat. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. And then when I come back, we're gonna start tying the knots. Okay, so I have the cord wrapped around. Um, and what you wanna do is when, you're wrap, when the final one is wrapped, just go ahead and bring your uh, live edge through that slot to hold it in place. So that's what it should look like. Leave about a little less than a yard hanging out. To start this, we're going to start by turning the boat so that the square end is facing you. All right. I'm going to take the end of the cord and I'm going to hold about 10 inches, 8 inches, 8 to 10 inches in your hand. Go ahead and set the other cord over here and put, put your running cord on top of the boat. That way you remember which way you're going. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lay this piece across the bottom of the boat. I'm going to come up under. I'm going to wrap it around that cord. Again, I'm going over the cord. Then I'm going to go under again. And then I'm going to come up through. All right. And then just go ahead and pull. All right. So that creates that first knot. We want to set this knot up. There are four notches on the back of this boat. We want to set this one up for the second notch. So there's one here and I'm going to push it over to here. The notches on the ring will correspond to the clips below them. So if I have my second notch, my second notch is here and my clip is right down below it. So I'm going to go ahead and slide it over to there. All right, just go ahead and pull tight. This one uh, it doesn't matter how loose it is. You kind of want it tight, but don't worry about it. We can tighten it up at the end because we are going to end up right back at this knot. All right. So go ahead and pull that other string through so that it's not on the inside. All right. Let's go ahead and turn the boat just slightly. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I already know that this is the second one. So there's the second clip. I'm going to skip a clip. And then I'm going to take this running yarn and I'm going to go ahead and put it through that sec that third clip. All right, so just slide it under and pull a little tight. So second clip, skip, put one in. Now for the top, I'm going to go ahead and skip another one down here and I'm going to go to this clip after it. Then I'm going to come up and right where that clip meets that point at the top, I'm going to go over and I'm going to take my yarn 
and I'm going to go to the left of that cord and push it through and go ahead and pull it through. And now you know the reason why I stuck all that yarn on the cardboard. It does take a lot of time to kind of pull all that yarn through and this actually just helps you get it through faster. So now we're going to go back through onto the right side of that cord. Go ahead and pull it through. So you're going under. All right, again, we have a little loop here that I'm holding on to, and then run your, your, your cord through that, and go ahead and pull it tight. All right, get rid of all the excess. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold on to this piece here, and kind of pull that one tight, and then just go ahead and pull the yarn. Now, if I wanna make it tighter, I do wanna make it a little tighter. So just go ahead and pull it just a little bit and then make it a little tight. You want this uh, not extremely tight. You want this tight, but not super tight. Uh, there should be a little give to it. Uh, as we go around, it will actually tighten up. So, uh, you know, tight, but not taut. You don't want it to be like a guitar string. All right, so now that we have our first full knot done, we're gonna look down. So we need to have three of these clips in the space where this V is. So I look down, I see the clip that I'm over. I'm gonna skip this one and go to this one. All right, so as you can see, there are three clips in each of these Vs. Now I'm gonna come over, skip this one, and come to this one. So now I need to put my knot on the top here. All right, so again, I'm gonna run my cord and I'm gonna run it to the left of my cable that's coming up. All right, I'm gonna hold it out here. And now I'm gonna take it inside, but to the right. See, it's to the right of that. All right, again, I'm still holding on to that one piece here. And then I'm gonna run it through. Line it up, pull tight, and just go ahead and pull down on that knot. Again, if you want it a little bit tighter, just go ahead and pull up on that knot. And there you go. So again, it's tight, but not taut. Again, down here, we want to skip three in between each one. So I'm going to go down to that one. All right, And then I just keep doing that. So I'm going to skip one and come up, and that's where I'm going to tie my knot right here. So we follow that process all the way around. Um, every time that we do this, we are going to make sure that we have skipped three uh, on the clips in between each one of these. All right. So from the top to the bottom, we do one, skip one, we tie, go down, skip one, and we loop. So you'll have three separating each one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up to about here. I'm gonna show you, uh, I wanna show you how to do this front piece. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do all that and I'll come back. Okay, so I got around, so as you can see, I finished the side. Now on this one, uh, as you can see down here, uh, I'm going to skip one and um, that would bring me up here for my knot. So the thing to remember for any of them that have the verticals, so you can see the vertical here, you're gonna split the vertical on your knot and I'll show you how to do that. So what I'm gonna do, let me turn it this way just a little bit so you can see. All right, again, like my normal knot, I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna take my yarn and you kind of have to split it in between those two verticals. So just shove it through. And the reason why you put it on cardboard is because it's a little flexible. So you can see it's a little flexible. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that knot up. So now I am on this side of that vertical, all right? Okay, and if this thing comes loose, just go ahead and shove it back in before you pull it tight. All right, so now I'm gonna pull tight on that. And remember, when you're tying this one, because of the curve here, 
you're, this knot is going to split. It's not going to be straight like that. All right. So now I go on the other side. So now I have to take this yarn and I'm going through again, but I'm going through on the other side of that vertical. All right, I'm going to show you. So one is on this side and this one is on this side. So again, you're splitting that vertical. All right, come back up through and pull the yarn through. Now for this knot, um, it is going to split, but if you kind of hold tight on it all right, and pull, you know, pull tight on this side, this one will stay. And then just pull your yarn through, all right? Make it as tight as you possibly can on this end one. I know I said don't make it taut, but this one is different because without the tension, these will start to slip. All right. So there we go. So now I'm just going to, I'm here. So I'm going to skip one and go to that one. And then we just keep going around exactly the same way. Uh, we just keep doing each one and skipping one. So again, there's one there. So I'm going to go to this. And go ahead. This first row that you will do, because you're going to do this uh, turn four times. This first turn, um, these will mirror themselves. So you will actually, this side will look the same as this side until we get up to there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and finish this side up. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you uh after you finish this first row of counting then you don't have to count anymore and i'll show you why all right be right back okay so i've got around to um where i started so from this point on every top one you're going to tie before the last one that you did every bottom one is going to be hooked before the last one that you did so for this one, let me turn it around. I'm going to go right next to the second one. Again, we're going to go to the left of the cable, then to the right of the cable. And then go ahead and pull it through that top. So I'm going to make that tight. Let's pull that around. Again, don't worry about this one moving around because we're not we haven't tightened that one up yet. Just remember that it is the second one. So there is one here. So don't get confused if it slides over and try to put the other one here. It will just keep moving it back so that it's second. All right. So we got our cable. So we've tied that one. Now there are three I can see. So now I'm going to go down and hook in there. All right. When I turn it around, if I skip this one and I come up here, so I'm right here. All right, so it's always before. So when I tie, I'm going to tie up here before the last one. Then the bottom will be before that one. So if I come in here again, go through and come back through, holding on to this piece and then running the yarn through. All right, again, pull it tight. Make sure I'm on that mark. And go ahead and pull that yarn tight, push down again. Now, as you can see, I'm going to go right down here. I'm going to go down just before the last one I did and come back up. So as you can see, you're starting to see that pattern start to show up. All right. I'm going to go ahead and finish this out and then I'll come back and I'll show you how we finish it off. Okay, so I finished that side off, and as you can see, I'm one before each one, and the bottom is one before. Now, for this area up here, you will see that there is a score line here that corresponds to that. But the score line for this one isn't there because there's a vertical. All right, so we have a vertical on that one. So from here, I'm going to go to this vertical. So again, just like any other vertical, I'm going to start on the left side of the vertical. And then I'm going to push through to the right side of the vertical. Now, as you get 
as you start to uh, build up um, your pattern, getting this through is a little tougher, but it can be done. All right. So again, uh, this this string is on the left side of the vertical, and then this string is on the right side of the vertical. Let's go ahead and push it through. All right. Now, as I tighten this one up, it's on an angle. So I kind of want to keep it as close to that inside of that vertical as possible. So if I pull it tight and again, pull tight on this side and then just pull my yarn through. All right. And as you can see, it's splitting that vertical and it will look like that on the bottom and it's fine. Okay, so now again, uh, I've come up from here. This relates to this one. So now I'm going to skip this one and go to this one. So again, I'm going to have um, three in between and it's before this one. So I turn it. Now to get these end ones, uh, I found that it's a little tight in there, but if you kind of make a loop and just kind of push it with your hand, just get your hand in there and pull back on it. Just try not to split the cord. There we go. And then just hold your finger in front of it as you're pulling up. And again, I'm coming around. I'm going to, I have vertical here. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the left side. Then for shoving this through, you kind of want to pull out on the string a little bit and push it through does take a little work on these tighter ones but you can get it through that's why I use cardboard it's kind of uh, bendable all right just go ahead and pull it in there we go all right so we're on one side then the other and go ahead and pull your string through all right this does work best if you have what you're working on facing you so I'm going to go ahead and pull up on that and get that string tight and pull. All right. So there we go. All right. So and then we just keep on going around, um, adding one before each one. So each each round, you'll be going one before the last one and just go ahead and finish it out that way. Now. As you get down to, again, where it's starting to get tighter, you're going to want to take this off. This is great to start with uh, just to get it going faster. But as you lose uh, cord, you can it actually doesn't take that long to pull it through. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how we finish off the last one. All right. OK, so I got around the entire uh, piece. And I'm down to my uh, last clip. So you can see it right there. So on this last one, as you come around, if you notice the pattern, uh, you notice that these two kind of, these two corner pieces are kind of sticking out. I, I want to keep those sticking out. So I'm going to take this cord and you should have about this much left. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run it behind. Um and in front of that piece so that way i can still keep that v sorry i missed one so behind all of these all right and i'm going to go ahead and loop that onto the clip all right now as i come up i want to bring this through and on the inside so i'm going behind all of those and coming forward now, this last one. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to untie this. So I'm going to untie this one. And I'm just going to leave it sitting right there. So I'm going to take my running cord that I just clipped. And I'm going to run it over the top. And then come through like I'm getting ready to do a tie. So you're going to go over and then under and around both of these. So I'm going to take it around the one that I just untied and the one that I just looped. Take it around and push it through. Okay. So now, as you can see, 
Um, I have them hanging out the back. Let's flip this over. Okay. All right. So this is the one that I looped around. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull this as tight as I can and pull this one from here as tight as I can around that knot. And now I'm just going to tie a double knot here. So just loop it around. And again, make it as tight as you can. This is the one where, this is the only one where I say make it as tight as you possibly can. All right, so pull it, hold on to that knot, and then tie it again. All right. Get it in there and pull. Make it as tight as you can. All right. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut off the excess. You wanna get close to that knot. All right, just be careful, don't cut anything else. All right, and again, cut. Perfect. All right, now you can add um, a little dot of glue to this to hold it. So when you flip it over, all right, now we're just gonna go ahead and play with this knot. We're gonna bring it forward a little bit to clean it up. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go around and even out all these knots. So I'm gonna push this one over a little bit just to even them up. Right. And again, just kind of go around and even them out however you see fit. I kind of tied them pretty close to where they should be. Um, all right. So there you go. So that is how we string this with one continuous string. Uh, it took me about, I would say the whole thing from start to finish probably took about a half an hour. Um, don't worry if it takes longer. Uh, counting these, especially when you're up in here, kind of gets a little difficult. Um, but remember, after the first round, you're just going to go uh, to the one before it on the clip and the one before it on the top. So you're just stringing that way. The first part, the first round is the one where you have to actually count. After that, you're just following the pattern. Um, also with the corners, um, just remember that you're splitting these corners uh, so that the string will actually split. Uh, and any of the verticals, you're stringing on the inside and on the outside of that vertical. So you can see there that I split the verticals. All right. Okay, now let's talk about tension. Uh, you really want to make sure that Again, you're making it tight, but not taut, because if you start to tighten it up too much, what will happen is the tightness will actually pull this board away from that vertical. So you kind of just want to make it even all the way around. Uh, in the beginning, it can, uh, it will be a little, it will feel a little loose, even though it's tight. But as you go around adding more string to it, it actually tightens it up a bit and when you first start out, you'll start to see kind of a wobble in this, but then when you're done, there is no wobble. It's perfectly flat. All right. All right, great. Let me know how it goes. And if you guys uh, have any questions, you can hit me up on my Facebook page at Excited Adam Design. And I will see you guys again very soon.